Good morning scholars, welcome back to the channel. This morning we're going to look at order of operation. It's very important when we're doing arithmetic, addition, multiplication, division, subtraction, that we follow the rules of order of operation. So let's go into, go into it and see what are those rules. Now, we might use any of these two acronyms, or pro probably you have others, to help you remember the order that you must go. So we have PEMDAS, we have BODMAS, right? Uh, so what this means, parentheses, exponent, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Work the parentheses first. You could call it brackets. So work the brackets first. Work your exponents, so those are your powers, your indices. Work those out. Then, the multiplication and division are of the same order. Addition and subtraction are of the same order. Multiply and divide before you add and subtract. It doesn't, so even if the addition and subtraction are given first, make sure to work any multiplication or division that you see in the problem before you go to work the addition and subtraction. If you see parentheses, brackets, exponents, make sure you work those first, then go on to your multiplication and division in the order they come, and the addition and subtraction in the order that they come. So same thing here, this is saying the same thing, just that instead of parentheses we have brackets, the O, you could use it as off, so if you see the word off, which means you are, you are multiplying, right? Divide, multiply in the order that they come, and then finally we work the addition and subtraction in the order that they are given in the problem, right? So it's not that you have to multiply before you divide, or you have to divide before you multiply. Work them. And then you finally you work your addition and subtraction according to how they are presented in the problem. So let's work these examples following the rules. So we look, we don't see any parentheses, we don't see any exponents. So we know that first we have to work, we have to work our multiplications first before we do the addition and the subtraction. So let's rewrite that 8 4 is 32, 10 2 is 20. So now that we have gotten rid of our multiplication, we can go ahead, the addition was given first, and then the subtraction. So 16 plus 32, so that gives 48, and then take away 20, that's 28. So our final answer is 28. Suppose we had just gone ahead and worked straight across the way it was presented. Would we have gotten 28? So 16 plus 8, that's 24. So 16 and 8, that's 24. Times 4, that's 96. Take away 10, that's 86. Times 2. 172. So you see, we would have gotten a completely different answer, which one is correct. So we have to follow the rules. Follow the rules and you will, you will end up with the correct answer. If you just go straight ahead and work as given, ignoring the rules, you're going to end up with a completely different answer, which will be incorrect. And if it's a multiple choice situation, I can almost guarantee you that this answer would be there waiting for you and you would be assured that you were correct when in truth and in fact, you would be incorrect. So this is the answer. All right, so here for number two, we do see, you have a question, Sunny? Yes. What's your question? What's your question? I'm not understanding. The rules. So the rules say we have to we have to work parentheses and exponents first. So if we are given brackets or if we are given powers indices, we have to work those first. 
Then we look to see if we, have, if we have any multiplication or division. We have to work those first before we finally add and subtract. So in this problem, if we had just gone straight and had 16 plus 8, that would give us 24. Times 4, that would give us 96. Take away 10, that would give us 86. Times 2, that would give us 172. This would be incorrect. We have to follow the rules which say multiply and divide before you add and subtract. So we work the multiplications first. 10 2 is 20, 8 4 is 32. And then we add and subtract. So 16 plus 32, that's 48, and then we take away 20, that's 28. This is our final answer, that is the correct answer. So here we have a bracket. And remember, we are told we need to work what's in the brackets first. We don't see any multiplication or division. So let's write back what we have and work the brackets. So 3 plus 4, 7, take away 2, that's 5. And then we can go ahead. So 40 take away 5, that's 35. Right? So 40 take away 5, that's 35. Plus 8, that's 43. So our final answer is 43. Suppose we had ignored the bracket. Would we have gotten 43? Well, since there was no multiplication there, so 40 minus 3... That's 37 plus 4, 41 minus 2, 39 plus 8, so that will be 47. All right, so our, our correct answer is 43. So we add these first, four, 3 and 4, 7, take away 2, that gives us 5. 4 to take away 5 is 35, and 35 plus 8 that's 43. All right, now we have 25 divided by 5 minus 20 divided by 10. We have divisions and subtraction. We must work the divisions first. The rule says we are to work our division before we subtract. So 25 divided by 5, that's 5. And 20 divided by 10, that's 2. So finally we have, our answer is 3. Our answer is 3. Or if we had just worked it straight across, 25 divided by 5 is 5. 5 take away 20, which you're not even normally doing at this level, but 5 take away 20, that would have given a negative 15 divided by 10, that would give a negative 1.5, right? It's a totally different answer from 3. So you see that it does make a difference what we work first, and we have to follow the rules. If we're given parentheses, brackets, work them. Exponents or indices, powers, work them. Then we attend to the multiplication and division, and finally, we attend to the addition and subtraction. So let's look at this problem. We're seeing there's a multiplication here and there's one here. Let's work those first. 4 times 7, that's 28. 2 6 is 12, plus 11. So we have 28, 12, and 11. 10 and 1, 11. 3, 4, 5. So our final answer is 51. Suppose we had just gone straight ahead and worked it just how it's given. So we have the 28 plus 2, that's 30, times 6, that's 180, plus 11, that's 191. Totally different answer from 51. This is the correct answer. We follow the rules. This is the correct answer. For number 5, so we have parentheses, we have a power, we have an exponent. And we know we are to attend to those first before anything else. So let's just write back the other things that we have. 2 plus 5 is 7 and 7 squared is 49. 
So we, we took care of that first. Now we have a 3 bracket 49. This means multiply. Where you see a, a number immediately in front of a bracket, it means you have to multiply. So we need to attend to this. 49 times 3. 3 nine is 27, 3 4 is 12, and 2 is 14. So we have 18 plus 1, 47 minus 20. So now we can add the 18 to the 147. That's 165 minus 20. That's 145. And that's, that is our final answer. Again, we have some powers. We know we need to sort those out. We also have a multiplication that we need to sort out before we do the addition and the subtraction. So let's work out our indices, our exponents. 3 to the third power, which means 3 times 3 times 3. 3, 3 is 9, 3, 9 is 27. So that's 27. 4 squared means 4 times 4, which is 16. And we need to sort out that multiplication. 6, 8, 48. So now we can go ahead and subtract. 27 take away 16, that's 11. And 11 plus 48, that's 59. Alright? So 27 take away 16, 11 plus 48. 59 and that's our answer there. For number 7, we have two multiplication operations that we need to work first. We need to get those answers first before we can think about the addition and the subtraction. So let's work with 3 4s and 8 2. So let's write back the file. 3 4s 12, 8 2 is 16. So we have 5 plus 12, which is 17, and then 17 take away 16, so that's 1. What would have happened if we had just gone straight ahead and worked left to right without paying attention to the multiplication first? So we would have gotten 5 plus 3, 8, 8 times 4, 32, 32 take away 8, that's 24, times 2 would give us 48. A completely different answer from one. So you absolutely must follow the rules or you're going to end up with a completely different answer which will be incorrect. Finally, we have a parenthesis, we have a set of parentheses, so we have brackets, we need to work that. Within the brackets, we also need to pay attention because there's a division here. We, we, we should not add the 3 and 6 to get 9 and then divide by 2, and that will give 4 and a half. We have to do the division first. 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and then add it to that 3, so we would get 6. So it will be 56 plus 2 times 6. Remember, this 2 comes in front of that. So now we need to take care of that multiplication. So 56 plus 12 minus 15. 56 plus 12, 68 minus 15. So that's 53. And that would be our final answer. So it makes a world of a difference in us. In, um, we need to follow the rules of the order of operation, whether you want to use PEMDAS, BODMAS, same thing. Work your brackets, work your powers, attend to your addition and division, and finally you do your addition and subtraction from left to right according to how they are presented. Alright, so that's it for order of operation. If you have been helped by this video, just drop a word to say thank you miss and please share the video so others may benefit from the information. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already done so. So if you check the catalog and you don't see the video that you're looking for, just let me know which topic you'd like me to do a video on and I'll gladly do that for you. So my scholars, take care until the next video.